Sugar Bears beat the press. KB goes right down the middle of the floor, kicks it to Antonia. Three. Yeah! Four in a row for Antonia. The three from the left corner. She is four for four. And it's 37-31 Central Arkansas. She has breathed life in this Sugar Bear team as there's a steal by Cameron Yard. Up the floor to KJ. Layup off the glass. It's good. Central Arkansas on a roll. keys to the game. First of all, you got to be the aggressor from the start. This shouldn't be one of those, let's get loose games, coach calls a timeout. You guys need to be smacking them in the mouth at the tip. That's really big, okay? Win the hustle and toughness plays. If you win the hustle and toughness plays, it'll take care of, the one and two will be the same. That'll be the aggressor, okay? Focus on your job. Example, defense. You must sprint back in this game. You can't jog, you got to sprint back. So do your job. Just be committed to that. Unruh, top of the key. Inside they go to Koval. This match again, layup good. No match inside. Unruh baseline, kick out, nice. extra pass. Howard from the left wing on the way. Good in the foul. Jordan Howard again. Howard crossover, kicks it. Good extra pass. Jones three pointer on the way is good. At the buzzer. And that's a shot Jordan could have easily forced. DeAndre crossover against Kite. In, kicks it. Baseline jumper by Schmidt is good. And boy, that is his spot. I'm telling you, they're going to they need to put a little circle there when he graduates. <laughs> the women. Backdoor cut by Howard. Layup off the glass is good and one. Jordan Howard with another in a four point play earlier. How about an old fashioned three point play here? Natural play, and the right would play be, would have been there. Yeah. Even for a right hand, that would have been the right he play. He had a fine left handed layup that wasn't going to get blocked. Oh, I got bad news for the Cardinals. Jordan Howard is feeling it tonight. Two more for Jordan. 25 11 now. Howard, straightaway three-pointer. Good. Uh-oh. 16 for Dude, Jordan Howard. We have a Marcus Howard performance coming tonight. Well, he's got that look in his eye. Has not matched the best three-point shooter in league history. Unruh kicking. Koval open right corner. That's good for three. I'm not sure what's going on with him, but that doesn't make a lot of sense for a guy that averages nearly 12 a game and is their leading scorer coming in. Pick and roll again. Koval shot up. Good. And the block. Beautiful find by DeAndre Jones, the Bears' leading assist man here at the Ferris Center. They do their work across the street. Baseline, they just left Jordan Howard. Kicked it out to Unruh. He'll try a three from the left corner. That's good. 38-20. to 20. The Bears are blowing out the Cardinals with under six to play. Howard, running start out to Unruh. Three-pointer on the way. That's good. That's Unruh again. That's his second three of the game, and the Bears... Up by 20. Now Burmeister working against Montesir. Tough shot blocked by Koval. Unruh with the rebound. Howard the other way. Scoop shot, no good. Dunk back by Chatham. What a finish by Jared. Corner three by Widenar on the way. That's good. Oh, do not let Aaron Widenar start knocking down threes. He's, he reminds me a little bit of Derrick Brooks, except he's a little more sturdily built, with all due respect to Derrick, who's making money playing ball now. Howard, another three. Great 22. Play. Sorry, oh. math has been an issue tonight. Yeah. Jordan Howard on the other end, picking up where he picked left off. Howard will go to work. That's a good answer. Layup. Jordan Howard quickly. Right wing against Graham. Back up to DeAndre. Three-pointer on the way. Good by DeAndre Jones. And does this guy have a knack for knocking down shots when the Bears need it most? Now Camber right corner. Looks inside. Stop and go. Off to Howard. Right wing three on the way. That's good. 33 for Jordan. 74-59. Bears by 15. He and Brown doing all they can to keep the Cardinals in it. DeAndre. Widener thought about a three. Will take a three and good. That's big. Because he thought twice about it and double clutched and then let it go. And he's rebounding his head off too. Howard quickly. Floater in the lane is good. That's not fair. 35 now for Jordan. 79-64. Right wing Camba open for three. Now they drop it to Howard. Baseline fader is good. Jordan Howard's making it every which way but loose. I'm telling you. I think he's closing his eyes and using the force, Luke. <laughs> right wing, Koval, three-pointer up and good. Hayden Koval, good again for three. And what a dangerous weapon to have. It's so wide open. And Jordan Howard about to lay it up for his career high, 39. Jordan Howard stealing bucket and a new career high for the Southland Conference three-point leader. And Bears win it tonight, 92 to 76. They had a 23-point halftime lead, and they win it tonight by 16, and improve to three and two.
with a winning record in conference play. Defend the home court tonight. And listen, conference games are hard to win, guys. They're difficult. Home away, it doesn't matter, man. Because in your league, it should be parity. Kind of rock, kind of the same level, same type players, the whole bit. But 16 point win, that's a, that's a nice win. And more than anything, you're three and two, nine and nine, and I believe that's the most D1 wins school history. Eight, and you still have 13 to go, okay? So you're doing some really, really good stuff here. And we gotta, we gotta keep that in mind. So I'm, I'm really pleased with you, and uh, I thought you handled, handled everything very, very well, okay? From uh, Jordan Howard, who has had back-to-back -back significant games now, the all-time Southland Conference leader in threes after the last game and a win. Yes, and tonight, Jordan, 41. Yeah, did yourself as part <laughs> of a win tonight. So we could tell early on you, you had it going. Were you feeling good? Yeah, yeah, I was feeling good. I had a good warm-up. Um, mentally, I was good. Uh, just knew we this was a game that we needed to win, uh, especially coming off the last win. We had a lot of momentum. So just, came in, just coming in confident, uh, we had a really good practice. We're moving a lot on offense. So, so, yeah, I thought we came in and executed really well. You have played so many minutes. I was looking at it earlier. Let me pull these over here real quick. I think you have played a little over 100 minutes more uh, than your next closest teammate. <laughs> and I know you work out really hard in the off season, but, I mean, a grind is a grind. And we're, yeah. you know, 18 games into the season now. How are you staying fresh? Because you had a heck of a pep in your step tonight. Yeah, uh, I think just being consistent, uh, just always being in the gym, always uh, trying to work out as often as possible to keep my stamina up, to keep my strength up. Uh, it's just something that I've been doing since uh, I've came here and since I've been home. It's just really a mindset I've had. So just trying to be consistent in that and uh, going hard in practice, treating practice like the games. And so when I come out here, it's just as easy. Your incredible lives are what make Arkansas so special. That's why doing our part to keep you amazing is our mission. By providing the most skilled doctors and nurses to heal you from sickness or injury and giving comprehensive care to support your recovery, we're your guide to health. All so you can keep on giving, keep on inspiring, and keep on amazing. For the care that keeps you amazing, visit baptist-health.com. Across divisions, sports, championships, and schools, for nearly half a million student athletes. College sports create lifelong opportunity, and that starts with education. We've raised the academic bar, so more are earning degrees, creating healthier campuses by working with the nation's brightest minds, and making sure more have the chance to succeed and are supported on their journey. But beyond the numbers, it's about opportunity, and we're working to provide it for every student athlete. They trap Jones, they get it to Koval, open for a three from the right wing, that's good! Hayden Koval knocks it down, and the Bears have got to pass the ball well out of the trap. They do it nicely there. Their careers. Camba trying to get some position inside against Sadler. Bears will try another three. Unruh is good on his second attempt from the top of the key. We'll back it out. Has a mismatch against the bigger defender. Drives right by him. Left-hand layup is good. And he got the mismatch he wanted. And you could see him lining up Kamani Jackson. And he said, hey, big fella, try and stay with me. Jordan Howard has it. Goes by Powell, now kicks to Koval. Open left wing three on the way is good again. 13-12, Central Arkansas leads it. Koval open again, left wing three on the way is good again. The seven footer, three for three from three. Into the front court, Matthew Mondesir has it, just came on. Jones right wing three on the way, good. DeAndre Jones knocks down one. Ripped it away inside from the 6'7", Kamani Jackson who is back in the game. Camba quickly, swooping right hand shot off the glass is good. The Bears are lighting it up here in Thibodeau. Right side, there's Roddy Peters, their leading scorer, lost it. Howard has it, three on one break. Howard up to Camba, right hand finish on the left side of the rim. It's 22 to 12, Bears by 10. Letting him walk it over there. Backdoor cut, Howard, layup good. Nice find by Thatch Unruh. And Thatch has done a great job delivering dimes all year long. Jones being harassed. Gets it inside. Tanner Schmidt, left hand off the glass, and he's fouled. And a beautiful find inside there by the Bears, and they've got to continue to look inside. Jones driving, kicking, extra pass to Widenau, right corner three on the way, in and out. It's Tanner Schmidt with a rebound, fighting inside. Hook shot is good. Beautiful job there, hooking himself around Lyons with a right elbow. Drive, kick, stolen away. DJ going the other way. A run out, the layup, finger roll is good. Bucket by DeAndre Jones, the steal and finish. And the electrifying freshman continuing to get things done. Peters dribbling by Camba. 
Now kicks it out. Nearly stolen away and is. Terraza Parnell. They were trying to find Powell in the left wing, and it's stolen away. Camba quickly in transition. Crossover. Scoop shot off the glass. Brutally difficult shot by Camba. The handle. Unruh taps it to DeAndre Jones. Up to Jordan Howard. Against Peters. Layup is good. Jordan Howard falls to the floor. Basket good. And the Bears back up by double digits. Good start here in the second half. To Parnell. Guarded closely by Johnson. Gets it to Schmidt. Pump fake. Kick out. DeAndre will try a three from the left wing. That's big. Every time the Bears need a big bucket, it seems like the freshman comes through. Camba baseline. Cut off by two defenders. Out to Parnell. Daraja. Inside out. Schmidt. Has a wide open Jones sitting out there, but pulls up for it instead just inside the three-point line. And the lefty from the right wing knocks it down. Howard off the screen. Draws two defenders. Gets it to Hayden. Now to DeAndre. He'll try a deep three. Left wing. That's good. DeAndre Jones for three. And that was a deep one. Job by Hayden not giving that one up. Jordan Howard quickly transitioned. Bucket all the way in with a left-hand layup. Jordan Howard beat everybody back. Bears are 15 of 19. Jordan Howard 7 of 8. Camba 5 of 6. Camba. Step back, fader, tough shot, got it to go. And that's one of those where you're probably thinking, oh, no, yes, great shot, 67-63. Peters guarding Unruh, dribbles right side against Peters, spins, lost it, got it back, got to find some help, gets it to Koval underneath for the bucket. Still plenty, though, at this point, need a bucket. Howard, baseline drive, haven't drawn a foul in a long time. Beautiful shot by Jordan Howard who acted like he was going to dribble out to the left wing after going along the baseline. Instead, turned back around and just flips it up and in. Unruh, right wing. Got to go quickly. Bears need to get a few buckets in here. Inside, they go to Camba. Off the glass is good. Beautiful pass inside there as he went up against Sadler, who went straight up defensively. Didn't foul him, but it's still a two-possession game. Bears need a quick bucket. A three would be great, but they need a quick one either way. Try by Jones. Kick out. Camba, wide open three, left wing. That's good. Matthew Camba, big bucket by Matty who's having a big day, 20 points for him now. But no chance for the Bears. Three possession game, 2.9 seconds left. It's not possible, and it's a shame. This is one that got away from the Bears here in the second half as they went into an offensive stall. Howard three late, missed it. Koval at the buzzer, no good, and that's going to be that. 86 to 79 the final. Bears fall here in Thibodeau, 86-79. Here I am back at UCA. This is where I got my start. Acting in plays, studying literature, writing scripts. Campus has grown so much in the last few years, and the technology is incredible. UCA is where I learned the craft of storytelling and got ready for a career in New York and LA. That's how I got here. Go here and go anywhere. Go UCA. What does it mean to be Southland strong? It's not just big wins. It's success in the classroom. And being engaged with service. Family. Passion. Integrity. Overcoming adversity. Hard work and dedication. Bettering people around you. Striving for excellence. Leadership and competition. On our campuses. And in our communities. We are Southland strong. I've really got to give credit to my staff. Uh, you know, yes, I've been on the phone and talking to staff about things that we need to adjust and do. And, uh, you know, I have complete confidence in the staff. And especially, I mean, it's great to know that, you know, I, I'm surrounded with people that are just as passionate about this program. And, you know, we didn't miss a beat. And that's what, that makes me really, really proud and, and happy. Uh, you know, Steve-O, we played three, at, at, three out of the four at home. And now we got to take it on the road. And this is going to be a big challenge tonight and also Saturday, but the most important game is tonight. Incarnate Word's very fundamentally sound. Um, they shoot the ball. I mean, they're 2-1 and one in conference. Their record, they've won three ball games overall, and they've won two ball games in conference. So that tells you how much they've improved. Uh, they play well at home. I've watched a lot of film on them. Uh, you know, if they get hot on the three, we're going to have to make some adjust- adjustments. Now, you know, we got to control the boards. Transition defense is huge, and, and I know that they've been working on that the last couple of days. Runs against Taylor Sales, and there's a steal immediately at half court by Camry Orr for the easy layup. 15 seconds in, a steal and a layup for Camry Orr. As they go high, low from Taby underneath the KJ, and you know what happened there, an easy flip off the glass for two and another assist for 
Taylor Beaudois sends it back out to Williams. They swing it around the perimeter from KJ to Taby. Back out to Camry Orr for three on the way. Good. Central Arkansas leads. Successfully now goes back right. Long pass near the corner to Sales with nine on the shot clock. Sales goes all the way in, flips it underneath the MK. Shot off the glass. Rattles around and drops through. Good. McKaylin Hicks. Sales into the corner to Camry Orr. Wide open three. Well, that is not a good defensive strategy by UIW, leaving Camry Orr wide open in the left wing. Jill penetrate, dishes it back to Sales. Sales now the free throw line to Orr. Got her defender near, drives in, little floating layup. Finger roll good. Camry Orr owning the first quarter. They've led the majority of the first quarter. Underneath, right block, Tabe sends it to Tabe. Tabe backdoor cut to Laney Fisher for her first two points as a UCA Sugar Bear. She snuck in from the left wing. Nobody saw her. Sends it over to the left wing to Sales. Back out to Orr. Head fake, pull up, free throw line jumper, and she can't miss right now. That is another bucket by Camry Orr. The defense winning the day. MK takes the high post pass from Fisher. Drives right. Goes all the way in. Spin move. Shot off the glass. Guard. But Kaylin Hicks goes one on one. Sales against Robinson. Sends it right wing to Orr. She'll dribble left. Pull up, free throw line, back out to Sales, left wide open for three, good! Taylor Sales buries it from the right wing. Receives the pass, sends it left side over to Sales. Curling, or pull up, jumper, good! You're listening to UCA Sugar Bear Basketball tonight on the Bear 91.3 KUCA. Conway, a steal by Orr. All the way up with the left hand, good! Her fourth steal, and an easy layup. That'll help settle things down. Pass, didn't get fouled, dribbles back out, high off the glass, counted it, she fouled! And the Cardinals 9-4 to four here in the quarter. Taby, left baseline jumper. Uh oh, it's good. And here comes Taylor Baudouin, finally getting her first two points. Or to the high post, looks for Taby. Instead, sends it low to KJ. Makes the catch. Backdoor cut to Taby off the glass for two more points. Four straight for Taylor Baudouin. Won't fall. Taby with the offensive rebound. Sticks it back off the glass and through for two. 17 to 5 in the third quarter. Forcing eight turnovers alone in the third quarter. Orr drives all the way in, a little runner over her shoulder, hangs on the lip of the rim and drops through good. And executed here in the third quarter. High, low, MK underneath the Tabe reverse layup, good. Over to Williams, drive, seven on the shot clock. Over to Tabe, three on the way, good! Taylor Beaudoin continues to knock it home from deep. Ten on the shot clock, sails to MK. Head fake, drives in, layup off the glass, good. MK just said enough of it, head fake, drove right down the right side of the lane. Here calls for some help. Dribbles with her left hand. Circles back around since Tabe. Floating jumper. Good. Tabe with another bounce. One bounce. Pull up jumper. And this game's in the books, by the way. UIW content to let this one run out. Horn sounds in the background. And Central Arkansas will go to 3 0 all time here at UIW. Rushing. At UCA, students come in with the second highest ACT and GPA in the state and leave with a career that's second to none. The University of Central Arkansas. Go here and go anywhere. At UCA, we have the second highest on-campus undergraduate enrollment in the state for a reason. Lots of reasons, actually. The University of Central Arkansas. Go here and go anywhere. Taby, her first touch offensively in the front court, gives it to Camry Orr. Orr drives all the way in, flips it off the glass with her left hand good. Central Arkansas scores first. Gives it to Orr. Orr drives right in again, this time on the right side of the lane. They're not going to have an uh, easy task today trying to keep Orr in check. Only two baskets have been by Camry Orr and layups. Five on the shot clock. Step back jumper on the way by Sales. Off the rim, off the glass. Good. Orr drives past Berrios into the paint. Fall away jumper. Good. And then lead back to Central Arkansas. Camry Orr again. Five points for Berrios, six points for Orr. KJ, really a first touch on the left baseline, gets trapped, spins, goes baseline, flips it high off the glass, counted, and she is fouled, and she will head to the line for a three-point play opportunity. No one there, now they work it back to perimeter, right to left to Orr. Orr goes all the way in and flips it off the glass one more time with another layup. Put her head down and went right to the hole. Elaney Fisher from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, has checked in for the first time. Orr, three, gives the Sugar Bears a lead. Front court, Taby looked left, now we'll launch a three, good. Taylor Beaudois left wide open, and they better get out there quickly. Sends it back to Sales. Sales all the way in. Pull up jumper. Baseline. Good. Works into the corner to Orr. She'll draw baseline. Up. Under shot. Good. Orr shields her body to protect against Barrios. Drives. Kicks it back out to Antonia for three. It's good. Boisich off the bench for three. Over to Antonia. Here comes another three. Good. Back-to-back threes by Boisich. Posting up. Antonio will launch another three. Yes! They got a cover now, three in a row! 
Sugar Bears beat the press. Tabey goes right down the middle of the floor, kicks it to Antonia. Three. Yeah! Four in a row for Antonia. The three from the left corner. She is four for four, and it's 37-31 Central Arkansas. She has breathed life in this Sugar Bear team as there's a steal by Cameron Yor. Up the floor to KJ. Layup off the glass is good. Central Arkansas on a roll. Draws a double team, kicks it back out to Angel for three. No good. KJ with the rebound, flips it off the glass, and two more for KJ. Offensive rebound, stick back up and through 42 to 35. Sugar Bears with their largest lead. Williams with the ball, bounces it into the corner to Taby. Taby draws a double team. Pull up jumper on the way. Count it and she's fouled. KJ. Now Orr flashes high between the circles. They leave her alone. She's gonna drive past her defender, kicks it out to Tay B. Who drives past another defender, sends it low to KJ. KJ, little scoop shot off the glass and rim. It's good. Beats her to the left. Now beats her to the right. She goes in, slips it to KJ. Shot good. Into the quarter. KJ, eight points in the quarter. Three, sends it to Sales. Right side, Tabe underneath the MK. MK back out to Camry Orr. Launches a three deep. Good. Another dagger in the heart by Camry Orr. She'll go in and kick it back out to Orr. Three on the way. Good once again, Camry Orr inside out. Tabe back out to Sales, 11 on the shot clock, six minutes to go. Orr drives, draws a double team, flips it off the glass, and hits the rim and falls through good. They have no answer for Camry Orr. He has 11 rebounds, the Colonels have 16 total. Tabe wide open free throw line, jumper good, and she's almost to a double-double as well. Pass Charles, pass to another defender into the hands of Camry Orr. Orr hesitates, drives to the free throw line, extended to the left side, step back three, good! Eight straight this season, and Central Arkansas cruises over the Colonels of Nichols here tonight. Final score in Thibodeau. Central Arkansas, 69, Nichols, 48. The Sugar Bears improved to a league best 13-4 overall, 6-0, and have won their eighth consecutive game as well. Uh, we're really proud of the girls. They've, they've done a great job. Obviously, everything that the team has been through so far this year, you know, they've really come together. Uh, They've had the coaching staffs back 100%. They've had coaches back, you know, 100%. Uh, I think this is the first year that I, this is my third year here, but coaches walked into practice and this is what we're going to do. And they're, let's do it. And it takes one or two practices and they know the game plan and it's it's done and, and they're ready to go. Uh, one thing that coach has always said is she needs everybody to be bought in. And I think everybody has bought in this year earlier than, than we have been. I think it's showing with our record. Uh, but the one thing that these girls have done is they've taken one game at a time, one possession at a time, one quarter at a time. And you could tell that with the Nichols game and even UIW. You know, UIW came out on fire uh, down there. And uh, I, I can't remember if we were down a half or not, or at the quarter or not. Were they no, beating us? So we were up 17-14. We scored late. Oh, we scored late. And, uh, but UIW just gave us a, a really good quarter. and. You know, but that quarter was behind us, and then they came out the second quarter, and, and we did better, and then the second half. And same thing with Nichols. Nichols is a tough place to play down there at Thibodeau. And uh, coach went in at halftime, and, you know, she's talking to the girls. And, you know, it's funny. I, I said on the radio or after the game, you know, in classic Sandra f fashion, she looked at Antonia and said, you're going to go in, you're going to hit those shots. And Antonia is just nodding her head. And uh, didn't even know she was going to go in the game. And she went in and she hit the shots. I think she hit, what, four threes in three minutes? And we needed that. We needed that spark off the bench. You know, we knew we, we know what all these girls can do for us. And when Antonia's number was called, uh, she did the job. And I think after she opened things up, they couldn't quadruple team KJ down on the block anymore. So she kind of cleaned up the rest uh, down there at the end of the quarter. Hey, what y'all see is really the easy part. It's easy. The game, when we get to the game, the games are easy because we work so hard in practice with coach. And it's just like, what that was, UIW? Oh, I was in the days. And she called a timeout and she was right here in my face. And I'm like, I know what to do. And I just stared back at her. I was like, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. <laughs> and I just knew the whole time she was thinking, I, she knew she got to me. And it was just after that, I just was like, yeah, I got to get going because. I didn't play no defense to start the game. And I was like, this is not me. And so she really knew how to get to me. And I really, I love her so much. I love Coach Rush and I love all my coaching staff. I love my teammates because we always come together. I love Steve-O and Josh. Those are my guys, you know, I love all everybody. And I just want to say, this is like one of the best programs I've been a part of. I transferred from Southern Miss, but it's, it gets no better than being here. Not only do we win, but it's just like we, 
we work so hard and hard work is something that most people don't like to do and when you work hard and you get that that end result and you keep getting these championship rings there's no more you can ask for right.